Okay, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the character Black Panther. He's a duelist, which is like the DPS class of Marvel Rivals. He's a four-star difficulty, so this is, uh, is going to get pretty intense. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing about uh, T'Challa is his left click, right? Which is just his basic attack. It's some really fast uh, fury swipes, right? Um, the bonus to this is that it, they come out really fast, a lot faster than other melee characters' uh, basic attack. But it takes, I believe, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits to actually kill your opponent. Okay, so the next thing about Black Panther, that, and this is where it starts to get kind of tricky with him and why he's a four-star difficulty, is his right click, right? Which is this spear, which by itself doesn't do a lot of damage. But if you see, the important thing about this spear is that it places a vibranium mark on your uh, target. If you read it right here, spear toss at the very bottom. Toss a vibra vibranium energy spear forward, creating a vibranium force field and attacking a vibranium mark to enemies in this radius. Now, I don't know too much about the force field, but the reason why you're going to want to use this spear mainly is for that mark, right? And to deal additional damage from a distance, okay? His next move, I'm going to skip his uh, left shift. And I'm gonna talk about his E, right? Which is this spinning kick that he has. That right there. It also places a vibranium mark. One thing to note about the spin kick is that it only goes forward and not up. All right, so if you're trying to hit like an Iron Man or something like that, if you look up and you press it, it's only going to go forward. And I got caught with that a couple of times online trying to get somebody above me. Um, but if, if you're trying to hit somebody that's flying, you're going to have to use either your spear or the next move I'm going to talk about. So now getting into his bread and butter, which is his spirit rend ability the left shift if you read it what it does is it lunges forward deals damage to enemies hitting an enemy afflicted with vibranium mark produces bonus health and refreshes the ability so the idea behind black panther is you want to throw create a mark hit notice that the mark went away but the cooldown on my left shift is reset then you want to hit maybe with another spear right you're basically doing a move left shift move left shift move left shift right because you want to keep refreshing that cooldown and the dope thing about it is this makes him really uh elusive and hard to catch because he's constantly shifting back and forth sides on the character though last but certainly not least we'll talk about his ultimate ability which is to summon fast right Summon Bass, pouncing forward, dealing damage, and attaching a vibranium mark to hit enemies while refreshing Spirit Rend, okay? So the idea behind using Bass is not that it deals a bunch of damage, is that it's going to put another mark on your enemies so that you can continue to use Spirit Rend. So it's really just a combo extender. Sometimes you can use it by itself to get maybe like a double kill or a triple kill i've used it before but in reality what you really want to do is you want to use it to um get your spirit ring and continue your combo and continue moving around okay so the last abilities that i need to talk about are his passive which in the bottom right you see panther's cunning deal higher damage when at low health so he gets a damage boost when he's like i believe 50 percent below 50 percent or something like that i don't know um you'll see his armor light up purple when that um when you're getting panthers cutting um he also has the ability to climb up uh walls like this which is uh useful to get around and also to get around heroes what some people do, I've seen, is they climb up top, boom, and they go, go to the ground like that. And you want it to be really, really, really quick. And then you want to get in, get out, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, okay? As far as a combo goes, I mean, what I typically do is I throw spear, 
spirit rend, throw spear, spirit rend. Right? Or here, let me do it on Luna Snow because this is really the character that you're going to go after. Uh, the, the strategist. So, spear, hit, spear, hit. She's dead. Or, what you could do, you can go, because the spinning kick is a little bit harder to land, you do that first, into that, into that. Um, you actually don't have to wait for the, the uh, spear to hit. You could actually do your spear ring right after you throw it, right? See, it's refreshed. It'll hit right after the, the, the spear does. Now that I've talked about all his abilities, Let's talk about some pros and cons and how I think you should play Black Panther. And let's start with that. The first thing I've noticed about playing Black Panther is that he's not a very good frontliner at all. Like he's not the guy to be kind of like anywhere near the front. And the only reason why that's even worse saying is because he is a melee character. So you may be tempted to like, you know, run into the fight and, you know, start swinging. But really what you want to do with Black Panther is while the fight is going on, you want to be gaining high ground, sneaking and sneaking around to the black line and flanking your opponents. So while they're all fighting over here, you want to be right here. Boom. Oh, come in. Oh, you're dead. Boom. Oh, I got him. And now I'm back out. To go to, to refresh my abilities and do it again your main targets are going to be the strategist or you're going to go for one of their dps characters maybe like hella um and hit her with the same same spiel they both take four hits to to take down so the pros of black panther is that he's extremely elusive and if he gets on top of anybody that he wants to get on top of they're pretty much dead right and they die really quickly if i get on top of a hella or um a punisher any of the dps or the strategist characters they're pretty much dead right and that's the cool thing about black panther also his moveset looks really cool i'll say i really like the way his uh his moves come out they also have a pretty big aoe i don't know if you just saw right there you don't have to be like right on them you could like if i were to launch it and i was like aiming this way let's see i i still hit you know so they're pretty forgiving with his hitbox when it comes to cons, the the biggest con about Black Panther is that he can't hit flying characters. Um, if you have a character that's flying, just leave him alone. If you see Iron Man up there, if you're not like already on his level and he's at low health or something, I would just completely ignore him altogether. Uh, Black Panther is just not equipped to deal with um, flying characters. He has team up abilities with. Um, What's her name to uh, magic, which I find kind of weird because if those are your two DPS characters, you have no way to deal with uh, aerial characters. You have to be, you, you I don't know. You just got to kind of think, think of that in, in the back of your mind. Um, he also doesn't really do that well against tank characters. I don't think, I don't know if it's him or if it's just tank characters in general. Because I swear on my life, Venom has an infinite health bar. He's just so hard to freaking kill. You know? It takes, like, just right now that, you know, the whole idea is that you want to get in and out with Black Panther. And I was sitting here hitting this tank character for a, a, a while, you know? This, how this is going right now is not how you want to use Black Panther at all. And God forbid if you miss one of his attacks, then you're really screwed. Um, outside of that, I don't think there's any glaring pros or cons. Uh, he is a little difficult to use. You're gonna have to practice with him a little bit before you can land these moves effortlessly, like I'm doing. You know, because I'm an expert. Um, so that's all I got for this portion of the video. I'll leave you guys off with some highlights and some gameplay and I'll see you here for the next one. This will not be my last battle after all.